a little fuzzy, but you're much louder than you have been, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm not, uh, not quite sure. It, it just sounds a little fuzzy, but uh, we'll, um, we'll see if anybody else can comment on it, on it, on it there. And uh, real good, good evening to you. The uh, antenna sounds good up in the tree. Um, IJX is out already. Take it away, Paul, K-1-L-I. Oh, my. Did you expect to have a appearance so early on the list? Sorry, Paul,
Okay, and did we come up with a date for the intel? Yeah, the 13th. April 13th. Oh, yeah, that's right. Friday the 13th. What time? 7 p.m. I didn't write all this crap down. Okay, so two announcements. If you can't hear Paul, well, and we'll repeat them afterwards. We're we're having a free for all breakfast again, April 7th, 9 a.m. at 4 G's, Route uh, 101 in Maple Street in Dayville, not Nightville, Dayville, and April 13th at Paul's house, 7 p.m. We're doing an antenna build. So if you got something you want to build up and need some help with it, come on out and do that there. Real good. W on UJ. Can you fill me in on who was uh, in the net last week so I can put him in the uh, in my spreadsheet here? W on UJ. Good to hear you. K one Z. Hey Ed. Welcome back. Just to, uh, I think I'm on the I'm on the beam now. I, I think people are a little bit clearer to me here. You caught me off guard, so I got to look. Uh, look, at, I could probably pull the log up pretty quick. We'll call, um, we'll call Terry Net Control. You ready to copy? Go for it. Let me find the start. All right. Uh, K1BAB, W1UJ, Whiskey One Tango Radio, Kilo Bravo One Japan Delta X-Ray, Kilo Charlie One India, India, is it X-Ray? Well, whatever the last letter is there. So that was the check-in for last week, and uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give Terry the Net Control. India, India Sugar. India, India Sugar. There you go. Very good. What else you been doing? All right. Uh, no, I just uh, thinking about Paul and, and the traffic. Um, today was a little bit longer. I, I took a longer route. Went uh, went east on Route uh, uh, Three to Two to to Three Ninety Five North because of unfortunately, God bless God bless the trooper on um, on Eighty Four today that shut it down. So I had to avoid that traffic. And uh, and uh, I went to Boston on Monday, Paul, right during commute hours, and, and you know I did that for 25 years. <laughs> but it it was it wasn't much fun on Monday, but I c somehow accepted it as, as the truth that back in the day. And the antenna party sounds good. I might have wire available. Um, I don't know how long the links are, eight meters maybe. So I don't know what good they'll do, but um, I think we got a lot of it. But uh, I'll um I'll check that out and maybe I'll touch base with you tomorrow. I won't be in Cheshire till next week. So that's the scoop. That's the scoop. Uh, good to hear everybody. I don't copy a couple people, but uh, depending on which antenna I'm on, I can snag snag a couple of the voices out of the noise. So go ahead, Ed. And again, welcome back. We found Tan W N U J. Yeah, Tan and burned out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that was always my escape route to get out of. Uh, get out of Hartford, go across 3 up to and out 84. If 84 is real bad, uh, 384 and 44 and take that across. So that was uh, that was my two escape routes. The other one is go way up and go 190 and across that way. So you would have probably not that much further, one, uh, 190, 197, 198 or whatever it is that goes up here, I forget. But uh, it's not, uh, not that much longer than uh, the rest of it here. Very good. Very yep, too much. KB1 ORX. Congrats on the good signal. Go ahead. Yeah, I know. It's a, that's a tough one, especially down here in the basement with the carpet, too. There's, uh, 
after the snow has been running for uh, a week or two in the winter, it gets pretty dry down here. And I try running a humidifier, but it really doesn't help out much. And I went to a big, uh, a big course, and they spent a day on uh, static effects on uh, electronic equipment. And it may not fail today, it may not fail tomorrow, but every time you do that, you damage it somewhere. And sooner or later, it will catch up with you. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's tough. You need to touch a cabinet or something or other there before you touch the radio. And uh, you won't be the first one to have problems like that. Usually, they, uh, they bypass, them, bypass them pretty well, and uh, <clears throat> you don't get that much. All right, before you have too much, uh, we get anybody else want to check in? We, I guess we can start calling it the flying sauce and that. We've, we've been on one, two, three, four. This is the fifth week of it. So anybody else want to check in at the Eastern Connecticut Amateur Radio Association flying sauce and that? Got a light one in there, Ed. Yeah, can anybody relay? It might be Harry. Hang on. Hang on. I'm turning. Yeah, let me get a little more antenna down here. Is that you, Harry? Okay, I had you right in the middle of the antenna. It was good to hear you. Um, <clears throat> now, why don't you take it away? Nobody else check in. Okay. 
worth more than what you're willing to pay for it, and somewhere in the middle you negotiate what's worth. Um, I think that's about it. Usually you see camps you've never seen before, and they're a lot of fun. Uh, I hate to say it, but I'm not going to be able to make it. Uh, my daughter's graduating from uh, Gallaudet University, and she gets her white coat ceremony, is what it's called. Uh, and she literally becomes a real doctor at that point in time. And uh, we're going to be there to visit Dr. Okay, yes, uh, Joe, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I haven't been to Southern in probably 10, 15 years, but uh, uh, ours is usually a couple of hundred people. We're not sure this is a new venue and all that. We don't know. There is a bar there, so there may be a lot of people. Go ahead. Roger, Roger. Yeah, I got some friends that come from way over the other side of the state, but they come up just so we can all go to lunch afterwards, so maybe you can use that approach. I bet he's on the phone. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll come back around to Joe there. Uh, IJX is out. Back to you there, Paul. Here's one I like. Tell us more. Oh, so much more. First of all, I have Brad on uh, 2.3 gig. Um, he's under the weather. Sends his best, so K1DAB to the group. 7-3 uh, to all. Uh, and uh, he couldn't make it in there tonight. Um, so uh, with that, uh, I will say hi to Harry. Harry, I turned the beam on you. Hopefully you can hear me. You sounded good tonight. Uh, my wife and myself will actually be in Charleston this summer. Actually looking for... Um, Semi-permitted accommodations are the nice way to put it. Somewhere to escape from the Connecticut taxes. Um, something along that line. I mean, in general, the, the, the major game plan is to get a six months and a day of residence elsewhere where taxes don't kill us. And um, Charleston's not that bad. I've heard a lot of good things about it. So uh, I'll be listening up for those good things when it comes back around the area. And uh, everybody else is coming to good time. Good evening. I feel like Rob Baruch. Tom, I see you in the Magic Bear. I see you don't remember the Magic Bear. Or does Jay. You're, you're both too young. <laughs> but Ed remembers Rob Baruch. And um, so, uh, yeah, you guys all sound good. And uh, tomorrow morning, I'm out of here at 6.15, heading up to Maine. Uh, day trip. Uh, hopefully everything goes well. And uh, should be back in the area late today. A lot of, lot of miles this week. Um, not unusual, a lot of, lot of miles, but it's been a long time since I've done that kind of mileage. But um, looking forward to potentially going to the Caribbean end in November. So we'll see what the, uh, the bottom line on that is. Even if it's just to go down and play and not play radio. Anyway, with that end, we will send it back to you, K1DE, and hopefully the growing group. This is KE1 Live. Okay. All righty. Yeah. yeah, what's a good, uh, what's a good album, but the, uh, you know, I know we're not sure what's going to happen with the house down there that we rent, the, the ham that's uh, a partial owner with his ex-wife uh, had a stroke, and his sister now has his power of attorney. His life is not real ham friendly, so who knows what's going to happen. So we did a lot of work on the house. We, you know, we rebuilt the station uh, completely, but uh, we did a lot of work on the house, too. So we kind of turned some brownie points with the missus along with Mr. So we'll see what happens. But uh, there's some other points.
people running it tomorrow, so we, uh, we spent uh, Wednesday morning cleaning the house, vacuuming and waxing and washing the floors and all that. Doctor was leaving Thursday, was going to make all the beds before he left. So hopefully it'll be nice and clean for the, uh, the real renters. Up to you, W1UJ. What's happening up there at K1Z? No, nothing, Ed. Say, uh, so uh, the uh, the house, well, you, it's, it's probably proper to be worried about, but I'm um, quite honored to have the opportunity to work out there. That was fun. If you guys, uh, new guys too, ever have an opportunity to become part of a de-expedition, it's a heck of a good time. Or make your own, I guess. Got the New England Cuso party coming up. All sorts of good stuff. The flea market. Uh, was that? That's the end of April, right? Week, month from month from today. So that um, breakfast and antenna build parties, things things are happening. It's kind of interesting. So uh, good luck. Uh, good job, guys. And I'll probably be checking out on this round, Ed, and group. Oh, and uh, for Rusty, the um, the Boston commute. Uh, well, I did it. For, I did it for 25 years. Now I go to the other way. I go from Webster to um, Cheshire, Connecticut. So the drive is a lot longer, but the time is the same. So, and uh, I did a lot of books on tape. I got a, a local library. I just went and got a library card, and they can you can download and borrow books for a couple weeks. It was perfect. I'd throw one on, I would throw one on there, or uh, um, or like you said, the talk radio. But that drives you batty too. <laughs> I can see it too. I don't know how long you've been doing the drive, but you got to change it up if it's a long-term thing. But uh, it's, it's, it's survivable for sure. Well, good to hear everybody as usual, and uh, thanks for hosting, Ed. Um, I'll forward along the audio later on tonight. K1ZE in the group, W1UJ. Yeah, yeah thanks, for, uh, thanks for everybody picking it up last week here, too. Yeah, I, I get uh, books on tape a lot. I went through a lot of that um, when I was uh, working for Connecticut here. Because, you know, you're in your vehicle running around the state all day. You may not go very far, but, you know, it takes time to get there. And, um, just by a lot of them. I mean, uh, job lot used to have a whole rack full of them. I'd go through there and find the, the ones that sound, may sound semi-interesting and do that. And it really does pass, pass the day when, the, when there's no radio stuff going on. So, very good, very good. Yeah, as uh, Jay said, uh, Jay's been down with me down to the uh, uh, U.S. Virgin Islands there. And if you want a, a sea expedition that's all set, all you got to do is uh, Google November Papa 2 November, NP2N, and look up his, uh, his house there. It's for rent. All the radio equipment there, the antennas are there. You just show up and put KP2 slash in front of your call and get on the air. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. Uh, Tom, uh, Paul says we got to set up a night so we can finish a little project here. kb one orx k one z and how'd you make out with the UPS generator? I was just going to, I was just waiting to see if we were really going to make a go of it, but since we've been on one, two, three, four, we've been on five weeks now, so I guess, I guess we may actually make this work. Go ahead, Tom.
TS-2000, uh, the only place I know of was in Virginia Beach. I had a TS-2000 I acquired for short money with blown finals on it. It was a known commodity, and uh, people down there fixed it up rather nicely. I mean, the, the problem is, the pain is boxing it up, shipping it down, and paying for it easy, you know, if you got the money. It's just getting out the door. Yeah, no, uh, the TS-2000, that was the, the closest real place. Uh, West Coast was another location. Uh, the TS-2000 was the closest real place. West Coast was another location. They did, they, I mean, they came back pristine. I mean, it was, everything was fixed on it. It had been factory reset, which was fine. Um, it was used to me, so getting it back factory new was fine. And um, it was, you know, right on the money. Tom, that's the radio you use all the time, six meters. That's the one that came back. So, um, yeah, I run two, for the group, I run two TS-2000s in the shack, and um, I've been very happy with them. Uh, I know they aren't the greatest, but it's, in my opinion, if you're going to have one rig, it kind of covers a lot of the sins. Yep, right around it. Okay. Well, Tom, if I, uh, if I find it, I'll let you know. But, uh, yeah, we need to set up a night with Paul there so we can finish your really good project. Go ahead. Nothing good. We can't get a certificate. It hasn't been three weeks in a row. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I'm just teasing. All right, man, good to hear your voice. I'm glad you're back, safe and all that. Timmy had the uh, expeditionary force standing by in case you couldn't get off the island. Thank you. 
Barbados. 